Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Heiser number 83524 VDC. It's an 835 uh, manual reset relay and a 24 volt DC. So it's, it's an 835, except that it's 24 volt DC is what it is. We have one removed from the packaging here so we can take a closer look at it. And there are installation instructions down below, which probably are inside of here as well. Yeah, they are. Along with the screws for you to get it attached. So the installation instructions, they're included. Wiring diagram is on the inside of the lid, which is nice. Here's your relay, obviously your relay. Okay, right here. A relay is used to um, you know, you can power a relay and have it do something else. Uh, once once the relay gets power, a switch, you know, something will open or close. You can, you know, relays are also used uh, to power something larger uh, than what it is that you have, you know, um, connected to it. So with low voltage, I can power that relay that can probably turn on things of much, you know, of line voltage, um, depending on how the relay is um is rated. So the link below this video to the installation instructions shows you its wiring diagram, okay? What you're connecting to the gas valve, the hot, the neutral, and the control switch itself. Note one, control switch must, must be closed before the reset switch can be pressed. Note two, to test, apply 24 volt to terminals two and five two and five, hot and neutral, then jumper three and four. Switch, you're gonna jumper those, three and four. Remove the uh, jumper and the relay will drop out. All external wiring must conform to local electrical code naturally, okay? take some basic dimensional properties. Uh, been asked in the past if the, if the red light is available as a separate standalone product and it's not, unfortunately. That's a relatively common question. Um, and unfortunately it's not. So that light is not available as a separate item. There is dimensional properties on page two, along with further installation instructions. We'll go over that in a moment. Overall height, They've got it at 5 and a 9 sixteenths. Appears to be accurate for the most part. Overall width. I don't see that they're giving that to us. Oh, they are. Four and a half inch. Right on. Projection. Just about three and three eighths. The 835 in a 24 volt DC is a manual reset intended to prevent the unintended restoration of power to a gas or electric powered appliance. In the event of a power failure, or the release of a connected control switch, the 835 interrupts power to a gas or a gas valve or electrical contactor, shutting down the appliance. The fuel or power supply to the appliance is restored only after the control switch has been set and the 835 24 low voltage has been manually reset by pushing the reset switch on the face of the unit. When power is being applied to the gas valve or electrical contactor, the red light is on, the red light indicator is off when power is not supplied to the gas valve or the electrical contactor. Now reading down through the rest of the installation instructions, you'll mount this in its suitable location. Obviously you're going to be able to attach that. They do give you two screws if you're putting it down to a standard box application. Install the step two is to uh, install your power, your hot to terminal two or your black wire to terminal two, your white or neutral to terminal five. Test unit by jumpering three and four and by pushing the reset switch, the, uh, the relay should operate and the lamp should come on. So you should hear a click on the relay and then of course your lamp will illuminate. If the relay operates, move, remove the jumper from terminals three and four. Install wires from the control switch to three and four. Install one side of load cable to terminal one and other to terminal five. Set control switch to the closed position. 
the control switch obviously is what's going to be co connected to terminals um, three and five. Step eight, operate the reset switch. Lamp should come on indicating that uh, power is being applied to the load. Remove the wire from terminal four from control switch and the unit should deactivate. Turning off the red lamp and the load. If not, recheck the wiring. If the system works as stated, reconnect to terminal uh, wired to terminal four. Operate reswitch. Uh, reswitch. Operate the reset switch to activate load, gas valve, or contactor. And then at this point, your installation is complete. So finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Heiser products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. A very typical and common item for us to sell in the non-low voltage version, just the 835, but enough of these to see that they're relatively common. However, if you're not sure which it is, um, it, it is certainly more likely that you have the typical 835, which is going to be line voltage, and you can review that just by searching the site for 835, and that will be your 120 VAC model. There's also a 220 VAC model, which um, common, 120 is, is, is the most common one, obviously. Everything after that, low voltage or 220 volts also exists, just less common in my experience. Any questions on the 835 and the 24 VDC variant or any other Heiser product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.